Hi, my name is Andy Nichols, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about how easy it is to get started developing for embedded devices with Qt Enterprise Embedded. First, we'll start off by opening up Qt Creator. We're going to want to go to File, New File or Project, and then create a new Qt Quick 2 application with built in types. We'll call this application Qt Demo Application. We're going to uncheck any kits that we're not interested in. And today we'll be building for the eAndroid iMac 6 kit that is provided with Qt Enterprise Embedded. We'll say finish and we'll get a simple Hello World project to work with. So we'll just start by making the font size slightly bigger in the example code and we can actually go ahead and run this already so let's let's actually just let's just do that so we've already set up our kit it says eandroid imx6 kit and the light is green here meaning that we've actually connected to our device uh, via usb and we just hit play what it's going to do is actually build the example deploy the example to the device and if you look at the device now you'll see our Hello World example. Simple as that. So if we actually wanted to change this example to maybe do something a little bit more than quit if you touched it, we could say, for example, if when we touch the screen, we'll change the background color to, to green. So let's say parent.color equals green. So on the mouse area on clicked event we'll change the parent to green so if you look back at the device we'll send the new version over and now that it's running we'll press it and it turns green so that is quite simple to do uh, you also have the possibility to uh, debug both the C++ side and the QML side so let, let's actually open up some of the generated C++ code here and maybe insert a breakpoint right here so whenever we start up our application it will actually uh, use the the C++ debugger to stop here so we can run this again with the debugger this time and you'll see right here it's actually loading all of the libraries Okay, so now we're actually inside of the the code we put a breakpoint in. Uh, in our case, it's actually moved the breakpoint down to the act the only line of code that gets run, but it, it does in fact work. And you can see here the actual backtrace of what's what's been called. So yeah, so C++ debugging works. We can unset this breakpoint and actually go back to our QML and we can also do QML debugging so I'll set a breakpoint here on this this line of JavaScript code and we'll run the application again now this time uh, when we touch the screen it should activate our QML breakpoint just wait for the libraries to load again Okay, now the application is actually running. I'm going to go ahead and touch the screen. Okay, now it's running. Okay, so now that we've touched the screen, you'll see that we've hit the QML breakpoint. So, yeah, so QML debugging works as well. In addition to doing both remote C++ and QML debugging on your hardware device, it's actually possible to do uh, QML profiling with the, with the QML profiler provided with Qt Creator. So we'll switch to the Analyze tab, and then we just have to hit the, the Play button here again, and it'll actually start up our application with 
the QML profiler. And so far it's been running the application for three seconds, but we press it, you'll see it turns green, and then we'll go ahead and stop the profiler. And you can explore the actual results of the profiling. So, as you can see, it's incredibly simple to do device development with Qt Enterprise Embedded. Thanks for watching.